Hey everybody, this is Captain Kyle. I'm here with Teddy Sears, very talented actor. We're here at Wizard World Austin and we're going to talk about life in the fast lane. So how have you enjoyed being here at the con? I've loved being here at the con. I've done a, a few Wizard World shows now. Two weeks ago, Madison. Three weeks ago, Columbus. And now here in Austin. And it's great. Nice people. It's, uh, it's sort of the same band of traveling, you know, uh, fill in the blanks on this. It's usually the same folks. And it's, it's great fun. Gotten to know a lot of the guys. Uh, Henry Winkler and Carrie Elwes and all these guys who I've just grown up loving and admiring. I get to see all the time. And it's, it's a dream, man. Which leads me to the question, is there someone that you've met that you've really fanboyed over? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was, it's probably, and it's, it's through my wife who just has loved Princess Bride forever, so it's always on in our place. And, and I, when I got to meet Carrie, um, there was a big moment for me, and he ends up being this very, I mean, he's as genteel as he, as he appears in, these, in all of his roles, but he couldn't be, he just couldn't be a kinder guy, and I kind of had to keep it inside until... I just finally, you know, I don't know, I just decided to, to embrace my inner geek and, um, and, and it, it, the feeling passed. Now, now, now it's mellow, but at first it was a little bit stilted on my end. Yeah. I totally understand. Speaking of people that you grew up with and admired, yes. when you decided to become an actor, were there certain role models that you looked to? Oh God, that's, that's a great question. The short answer off the top of my head is, is no only because so I'm from the Washington D.C. area, and 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 no one's that I that that I can think of's parents, mom, dad, who were my role models. I mean, I, I have an older sister who's a role model too. But but as far as like making your living as an actor, isn't a thing that's in in the conversation. You know, a, a living in the arts in general when you're in, from the greater sort of D.C. area. So to me, it was always in, impossible. Um, it, or, or, or it just wasn't something that was wasn't something that was even on my radar until I, after I was out of college, and then when I started to decide to do it in earnest, and I was studying a lot, I, I mean, I the, the guys who, whose work I love are guys whose work I could never do. First person that comes to na uh, mind is Philip Seymour Hoffman, for example. Maybe I shouldn't, you know, take myself, uh, I don't know, you know, out of that conversation. But but there are titans to me in the field, and he's he was one of them. Um, Dennis O'Hare is another actor I just think is magical. Um, Allison Janney and Sarah Paulson. I mean, it's funny, these people who I've since gotten a chance to work with, um, who I just love, uh, I, I don't know, I just, to me there, there was always like, oh, they're them and I'm me, and, and what you find is that couldn't be further from the truth. We're all just humans with our own stuff, interpreting the material, doing the best we can. Um, but, I, but I do think there are those who walk among us who have um, superpowers in this field and uh, that first name of course is one that that comes to mind but no um you know now, now that I'm here it's really just kind of a matter of um, trying to be a sir it's so actory trying to be a servant to the to the text tell the story uh, the best way I can through my own sort of experiences and filters and then hopefully just letting the work go and moving on to whatever's next yeah well that's a very deep answer, <laughs> which is awesome. Um, I do want to ask, though, you, you were obviously Zoom, Hunter's Element, and that was probably a bit of a different experience than some of the other shows, 24, Chicago Fire. What are the main differences you find between working on a genre show and working on a more real-life show? Sure, sure, sure. Um, probably the first thing that comes to mind is, is probably a sense of play. Uh, it doesn't mean we don't play on the sort of the, the more formulaic or the more you know network box type of type of shows. If you want to sort of, I don't even know if that's a, a a fair categorization. But when I think about the Flash, I think about the cast first and foremost because it's a it's a deeply talented group of people who had a lot of fun. They were always singing, always dancing, all always playing around. Because because what we're doing, even though we're telling a story, we are, you know, we are. We are playing. We're playing make believe. We're playing superheroes. We're playing supervillains. Um, we're playing the reality of of the lives of these people in any given moment, and um, and so that's sort of the first thing. And probably the if I had more time to think about it, maybe there'd be a deeper answer. But the sense of play that I get uh, when I think about Flash versus yeah those other shows um, come to mind, and then freeing myself of any preconceived ideas of how it's supposed to look because we can create that world and when you're working more in like you know um in in the network bubble uh the more formulaic stuff um 
that that hues to a more tried and true formula, uh, which works. The audience loves it, and we love to do it. But yeah, Flash was looser, lighter, um, yeah, more sort of, uh, yeah, more in the realm of play. So really quick speed round. This is just five super quick questions. Favorite color? Blue. No, orange. Ah! Did you see Monty no, Python? Did, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Um, favorite cartoon growing up? Woody Woodpecker. Very good. Um, favorite book? The Alchemist. Paulo Coelho. Yeah. Okay. All right. And favorite season of the year? Autumn. Autumn, hands down, man. Good choice, good choice. And favorite soft drink? Soft drink? If you don't like soda, it could be anything. I don't like soda. Uh, I, love, um, I love red vermouth as, as a drink. I, I, in, in my heart, I'm, I'm, a, I'm, I'm, I'm Spanish, so I love a red vermouth at the appropriate time of day, on ice with a little bit of orange in there. Very cool. Before I let you go, any new projects coming out that you would like to talk about or you can talk about? Great. Yeah, the, the one thing I'm up to right now is uh, I'm on a Netflix series called The Politician, uh, Ryan Murphy. Uh, those, Of course, those guys uh, who are wickedly and deeply talented. American Horror Story, of course. Uh, I'm working on that. Season two is shooting now. Season one dropped on Netflix uh, late September uh, of this year. And uh, I'm introduced in the last episode of season one with a few other new characters, which introduces us for season two, which is what we're, we're up to now. So I don't know when that'll come out, probably end of 2020. Um, but that's thrilling, exciting, and that's what I'm up to right now. Very cool. Anything you want to say to your fans out there? I mean, thanks for watching, first of all. for If you've made it this far, <laughs> thank you. Um, otherwise, um, uh, yeah, that, that, that's it. The, the, if anyone's tuning in at all uh, to anything I do, I'm deeply grateful, including this. So thanks. Well, thank you so much. Thanks, everyone, for watching. As always, have fun and follow your fandom. Hi, this is Michael Shanks, and you're watching Fandom Spotlight. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. The fate of the universe may depend on it. Oh, plus, have fun and follow your fandom.